Welcome to the Fission Energy presentation at Gora Online Uranium Conference. I am Dev Ryan Howell, President and CEO of Fission Energy, and I will be presenting our company to you today, as well as answering questions posted by investors who are watching the presentation at our scheduled time. If you're watching this presentation outside of our scheduled time, please post your questions as we'll be checking in over the next couple of days to answer them. Before I begin, I would ask that all of you take the next 10 seconds to review our disclaimer, which you can review at any time by coming back to this slide. Our third slide here is about Fission's market performance in the last several months. As you can see, obviously we've outperformed not just the general market, but also amongst our peers. Why? Because we've stuck to our knitting. We know we're an exploration company. We're to go out there, tie up land, explore, and then develop it enough that somebody else wants it. That's what we've done over the last few months. In addition to making a great discovery at Patterson Lake South, PLS, we've also managed to do a transaction with Denison Mines. That closes sometime in April. Electricity demand is to grow by 76% by 2030. That's just not because we want to plug in our iPhones and our iPads, but also because the rest of the world wants more energy and it's growing. For example, China right now has about one and a half percent of its energy coming from nuclear power. It wants to go to 15% like Canada, like the US. To do that, it's got to build over 200 reactors. India, Russia, United States, Saudi Arabia, United Kingdom, United Emirates, South Korea, all are in the process of either constructing or planned or proposed. As you can see, there are more reactors that are under construction and planned and proposed than they are actually existing today. What should catch your attention is seeing Saudi Arabia and United Emirates on that list. Home of cheap oil wants and needs nuclear energy as part of its overall mix. As we speak, there are 104 reactors operating in the United States with three more under construction and 24 planned or proposed. Almost three quarters of Americans support nuclear energy. Why? It's very cheap compared to coal and gas, and there's no carbon being emitted in the process. As we speak, holes are being dug on the first reactor in 30 years. Already we have about 20% of our energy in the United States coming from nuclear power. However, most of that, fuel for that, is actually coming from a contract between Russia and the United States called the HEU contract. Slide six shows that the world needs about 145 million pounds a year, but is only producing about 100. Where is it coming from? The deficit is coming from either secondary sources or what is called the HEU contract or megatons to megawatts. And that is set to expire in 2013. It's expected to put upward pressure on the short-term price because of this lack of supply that won't be available for the United States. Slide 7 shows that higher uranium prices are here to stay. Despite Fukushima, the long-term trend on uranium prices is held. Slide 8 shows why fission is focused on the Athabasca in Saskatchewan, Canada. Very simple, grade. The grade in the Athabasca is not two or three times, but often 10, 20 times higher than a world average grade. Even after Fukushima, Rio spent $654 million to get a foothold in the Athabasca Basin. The Athabasca Basin has produced about a fifth of the world's uranium for some time, with over 40 years of mining experience in the region. Why? Again, grades, very high compared to world average, but also as two more important factors, environment and infrastructure. Politically, you can't do any better than the Athabasca. Their support, both at the federal level, but at the provincial level. Also in infrastructure, there's lots of mills nearby, power grid, and also highways and air. As mentioned earlier, our stock has performed well for two reasons. One was discovery, but also a deal that we've signed with Denison. While it's subject to shareholder approval and TSX, if all goes through, Fission shareholders will receive 
0.355 shares of Denison for every share of Fission that they own. And also they'll get one share of Fission Nuco. And in Nuco, there'll be a 50% stake in the Patterson Lake Discovery with Alpha Minerals, which is 50-50 partners with us. And also all the properties that are now presently in Fission Energy than the Western Athabasca area and Makassani. In addition, to be significant cash projected as to have 15 million in April when the deal closes. To quote David Talbot of Dundee Securities, the market is leaving a lot of value on the table. To quote Rob Chang, what the market is missing is when you consider the cash. Well, if you take the value of Dennis in $1.42 and Alpha even $4.15, you can see the stock should be trading more like $1.23. When you add up all the parts of the cash, Makassani and the North Shore, what 50% of the PLS discovery is all about and what you would get in Denison shares. However, we realize that the deal has not closed and there's bitter risk there that the shareholders or TSX may turn down the deal. However, given that, there's still a significant discount from where Fission should be trading at and where it is right now. Slide 12 shows the Athabasca Basin and all the Fission Energies projects. The ones in green are the ones being sold to Denison in exchange for shares. The blue property are the ones we are keeping within Nuco. The dark blue is our 50-50 joint venture partnership with Alpha Minerals. The light blue are properties we own 100% of. Slide 13. It's very hard in this format to go through and show you what and where all the different details. What I can tell you is Based on today's announcement, we have very clearly three zones near the discovery hole 22, hole 38, but also the step out that was announced today, but 780 meters east of the discovery hole. In those highlights, on the left, you can see that the assays have come back from the original discovery area, and you can see the grades, but also you can see the scintillometer readings we have on hole 38, 51, and 53. Those assays are expected any day. In fact, they may be in by the time you go through this presentation. Slide 14 shows both the discovery area and the step of hole 38. However, as of this morning, hole 55, hit, we've announced, has hit off-scale mineralization at 790 meters east of the discovery hole. So there are three very clear areas now. For the balance of drilling season, we'll be spending a lot of time trying to fill the gap between hole 22 and hole 38. Slide 15 is a map of our Makassani property in Peru. This is a property along with the properties in the western Athabasca that will be in Nuco. Our strategy for the Makassani property is to do some work some drilling this year, then eventually find a partner or sell a property outright. Slide 16 summarizes our management team. Our technical side is led by Ross McElroy, who's been with Chemical Reva BHP. He's also been instrumental in three of the last eight major uranium discoveries in the Athabasca, including Fission's Waterbury Lake and the J Zone. My background is primarily on the financial side where I was the founder and CEO of Strathmore Minerals and also the same for Pacific Asia China Energy, which we sold to Green Dag for 34 million US. Page 17 is our corporate summary. Our market cap is about 140 million with about 15 million in cash. We are covered by five brokerage firms, including Dundee, Cantor, VSA, Raymond James, and Roth Capital. Our board is a balanced and strong mix of both financial and technical people. Institutionally, our largest shareholder is spot asset management. That concludes our presentation. I want to thank you for joining us. I encourage all of you to take this opportunity and post any questions you may have about the company. For those of you who are watching the presentation at a scheduled time, please begin posting your questions now. For those of you watching the presentation outside of our scheduled times, Please post your questions now and check back later for our responses. Thank you.